Hello, my friend is Boris here, and today it's time for a new concept on my channel, analyzing some uh, top players in for champions and their gameplay simply. And if you like this type of video, this concept, then make sure to drop a like uh, to let me know if I should make any more videos of uh, this kind. Uh, but today, though, we're gonna focus on the Danish wonder kid uh, named Anders Vergang, who is uh, 14 years old, and he has been uh, well <laughs> great for many years already. And he's still though too young to compete uh, in international tournaments, but he can still of course play in for champions. And over there so far in FIFA 21, he has not lost one single game yet. He has 120 NO, which is uh, quite crazy. So today we're gonna break down his gameplay and uh, see what simply makes him uh, so successful in the game. Alright, uh, first out, here we have his team that he's using and a uh, team around 8 million coins. It is not of the uh, highest uh, pros uh, level of course because some pros are using teams for like 15-20 mil. So it's a quite modest team in uh, pro perspective uh, but still of course a uh, great team and sometimes also he is playing a Kante instead of uh, Sisokoa. And you see that uh, he's only trusting here two chem styles, and that is Hunter and Shadow. He's using Hunter for attacking players and Shadow for the defensive ones. Uh, maybe Hunter for Mbappé is not the best choice, but of course uh, for him it is working perfectly fine. And we're also going to see how this looks in the game. Uh, playing here mainly the 4-4-2 with uh, Zidane uh, on the midfield. And this time we're here going to include Kanté instead of uh, Sissoko as he plays him uh, Quite often as well, then he has Cristiano Neymar up front and Mbappé Rashford on the wings. And about his tactics and instructions, they are not really revealed yet. And I would not really reveal them here either because that is up to him to of course show them. And maybe if he opens up some YouTube channel or something, we're not going to try to steal his content. But he's though streaming on Twitch quite oftenly, you can find that link down below alongside with his Twitter and Instagram. Uh, give this man a follow because this is really, I think for sure, the next uh, world star in FIFA, if not already. Uh, so yes, we can just uh, speculate about his instructions, but uh, well, looking at the game, he is playing quite wide. He has Mbappé and uh, Rashford always uh, at the sidelines, and then he's using Kanté as the more defensive one here on the midfield, and Zidane moving up in positions a bit more. And then both, I think, here, Cristiano and Neymar getting in behind. Uh, defense here is using quite high defensive line, uh, quite uh, narrow as well. And then he has, uh, as most pros would have here, the fullbacks on uh, stay back while attacking. Uh, so yes, uh, quite a basic walkthrough of uh, his uh, tactics and team, but that's not going to be the main focus here. We're going to focus, of course, on his gameplay that made him so successful in for champions and this first matchup for him was going to be a quite tough one against one of the best players from Denmark uh, Don Uli and he plays almost all his games on Friday so he's going to face some top players every weekend and despite that still unbeaten 120 and oh and you can see a taste of his main weapon and that is the step overs using it here uh, with some combination of different skill moves as well as ball roll and that uh, fake shot stop this time it was saved by the keeper and then in the defense, you will see that uh, he's playing it uh, quite simple. Uh, but the key is that he reads the gameplay so well all the time. But speed jockey, you can see it. L2, R2 almost all the time. And switching with the right stick. Rarely using L, uh, L1 switching and rarely using also that uh, uh, secondary man press button, the R1 button. It all, well, it is all just uh, trying to read the gameplay and being quite aggressive as well. Uh, not very often cutting off passing lanes. He wants to get the ball back as quickly as possible attacking here the ball holder and here uh, quickly switching uh, with the right stick being active here in the defense instead of dwelling at oh, well I just lost the ball. No, just focus on the next moment all the time Getting the ball back here quickly which gives him also here this great chance, but it's a great defender from uh, his opponent as well uh, and we can see also sometimes also that he gets, uh, well, his uh, defense will go very narrow, but he, he's going to solve this though with uh, some vision, anticipation, and that the right stick switching well defended this time. And this nice piece of uh, defending will give him here a chance to go forward. And uh, here Zidane passing it forward to Neymar, and it's a simple goal. And also, yes, we're showing these highlights with the co-op camera to give you a better overview. Uh, but he's using though telebroadcast and we have here 
in his uh, prime. The step overs and the four pulls, just like this. Multiple step overs and then just going forward. And uh, well, when it comes to defense, again, quite simple. L2, R2, uh, not using any contain either. Just waiting for the opponent's mistake and staying calm here in the box. That is a good defending. And from this, he's gonna get here a counter attack and passing it back here to the midfield and then going forward again. And always having this with here, always having the options to go to his wingers that are always here gonna be a viable passing option using this with. And from this position here, just to some step overs inside and then finding. Um, after this, the pass to Neymar, and from here, it's gonna be uh, some step overs again, and it's hard to stop uh, with uh, this tempo. I mean, he makes it look uh, so simple, uh, but it's all about having that timing. Uh, and here, though, the opponent will score one goal back from a mistake from Pope. This was a bit sloppy from him, uh, but after this, though, he will uh, score one more, and this time, again, it's gonna be with his key. With uh, his strongest weapon here, the step overs. It looks uh, so simple, but he just does it again with uh, that uh, perfect, perfect timing. And here you see again how he acts in 1 1 defending, aggressive on the ball holder, not very often cutting off passing lanes. No, he just wants to get the ball back uh, as quickly as possible and uh, just attacking here the ball holder. And he's also gonna solve this in a nice way using here his center backs and full backs too. Get out of this pressure play and from this simple goal after that uh, nice interception and 5-1 was going to be also the final result of this game a very strong win uh, this game though for him was going to be a bit tougher against filthy fellas and uh, we got a nice start and this guy had also told us up front this was maybe not uh, the best uh, defending uh, but here though he's using uh, so many commands at the same time just look at this he's moving his keeper while at the same time using this speed jockey, so cutting off two options at the, at the same time and like most players would do, focus on only keeper no, he's gonna do both here, defending and keeping at the same time and this is some very high level of course and uh, some <laughs> high end multitasking as well in the end though he gets a bit lucky with this block uh, but sometimes though he goes a bit uh, too narrow which opens up here really uh, the space on the wing and this time he will get punished from this he cannot uh, save this up with the right stick switching uh, but uh, in the attack though one of his main keys uh, apart from step overs is always create motion and almost every pass here he's gonna use the L1 pass it so that uh, the player that passes the ball of course will move forward and distract the opponent while he is doing some skill moves and also you can see here that uh, the gamepad camera here doesn't register here and uh, that L1 button but clearly he is pressing this down as you will see here that uh, Cristiano will hold his hand in front of his body which means that that uh, motion and animation is activated by L1 and you see while distracting while just running forward having this motion and the opponent will have a nightmare to uh, defend against the, these step overs um, and here comes again step overs Neymar and he's using this also with the uh, combinations of fake shots and ball rolls right after doing uh, these step overs uh, but here though um, defensive mistake uh, in this situation of course uh, well you cannot uh, chase from behind and I think this is quite unlikely him as well this is just a uh, error here of course he must switch uh, to his uh, center back in this case that would be but, um, but he's chasing from behind when the opponent has an open gate and he he will switch though in the end but it will come too late and the opponent will score 2-1 here uh, that uh, will be now a tricky situation for Anders but no he has of course <laughs> the step overs and he makes it look again so simple uh, but this is just perfection and he's also doing this in so many different ways uh, combining step overs, reverse step over uh, and here also step over into shot he has like 25 variations of this, just like, uh, well, uh, Baba Gump with the shrimps in Forrest Gump. You know, they're all different kinds. And 3-2 uh, here. And we're also going to see here that uh, he has this crazy whiff here. Look at this. He has so many opportunities and so many options here to pass always. And he can always go back here also from the wing to the midfield to get out of this pressure play as he has here. Kantia to stay back always a viable option going forward using this combination of fullback winger and 
as sentiment and from here he wants to go straight forward finding one of his strikers that are getting in behind again we're gonna have step overs this time combined with a ball roll and this is just so good and then the shot the power shot near post and he scores here 4-2 and from here though uh, the opponent uh, will be pretty much done and dusted also here uh right six switch quickly reads this uh, gameplay again so well and so early and uh, again step overs we have again and a pen here because the opponent just had enough he cannot take it anymore but though this time he's gonna save it pope but shortly after though he's gonna make a big error which is really gonna end this game as Anders again is gonna read the gameplay at this moment switching here to Kantia and also winning here this this header and instant shot he has uh, that uh, 255 vision and he scores 5-2 and from here really this game is over even though he will score one more here driven pass up to Neymar uh, one touch passing and maybe a bit lucky but overall here he was extremely dominant and he's gonna win this game in the end though with 6-5 I'm not gonna show you these uh, last goals because Anders clearly switched off after this and started to banter around because he felt this so superior which he is I mean 120 and 0 that's crazy man 14 years old and he cannot play international tournaments until he's 16 so yeah let's see uh, what happens then but yes to summarize uh, his gameplay here we have uh, 4 4 2 mainly almost all the time sometimes also he's gonna switch to 4 2 4 if he's chasing and then his uh, main keys in attack it is step overs and l1 passes to create the motion and make it hard of course for the opponent to defend and these step overs there's so many variations to it uh, that well it gives uh, opponents uh, some massive headache and then uh, in defense uh, speed jockey almost all the time l2 or 2 and uh, just pretty much only rise like switching very rarely here seeing him use any l1 switching and also almost never using here a secondary man uh, press button the r1 button uh, but the key for him in defense is that he reads the game uh, so well and so early uh, really amazing a big round of applause to him and let's see now how long this, this streak is gonna last for him in for champions again make sure to give this man a follow his links are down below this is the next uh, world star in fifa and also, if you enjoy this type of content and this concept of analyzing some top players in for champions, then again, make sure to drop a like to let me know simply if I should do any more content like this. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, you know, until next time, take care.